Inside Northeast Racing is brought to you by the New York State Stock Car Association, Gene Cole's Utica Rome Speedway, RCT Roofing, the Rooftop Shuffler, Joel Mearns, Jack's Used Race Car Parts, and more, and our friends at Dirt Track Digest. Welcome to this week's edition of Inside Northeast Racing. This is our 22nd edition, so you'll see a distinct connection to the Northeast veteran wheelman, Dave Lape. Our cameras visited the I-88 Speedway for the first ever appearance of the Empire Super Sprints. Here's Mike Mallett with the call of the race. Lucas Oil Empire Super Sprint Tour! Matt Burdick, he's got the green flag in hand. Race fans, we are racing off of turn number four. Stewart charges up into turns one and two. Hang on to it. Stewart freeze and got sideways. Nearly one around, but everybody clean and green as they take it down the back stretch. Working at three quarters, number three and four. Lean the charge, lock number one, the 90 of Matt Tanner. Cook there for a second, Stewart Friesen now for 24. And it's in four, and here comes Friesen. Friesen now, down on the bottom. Cook on the top side, Cook will maintain position number two. For the Empire Super Street, out in front, it is all Matt Tanner. Tanner taking it off the turn. He'll work it into turn three this time, and he has got the two of the electric right there in front of him, so now things going to get a little hairy for Matt. Tanner, he's going to have to make some moves here in solar traffic. So Tanner being challenged for the first time here in solar traffic. He bobbles and now we've got one. As he came off of turn number four, something letting go. Tough break for Collins. He was running inside. Green lights come on. Green flag with the play. And again, Friesen gets a good restart. Friesen dives low through turns number one and two. Looking to get underneath with Matt Tanner. Coming back with him though up on the outside is Jeff Cook. Into turns number three and four. Friesen looks to the bottom of Tanner. Tanner stays on the outside. As it came down to the line, Tanner will be the leader, but he is side by side with the 33 of Freeze. And now as they work up off of turn number two, we've got a new leader down the back track. Cook's got to get his way through because Dylan Zwernick is there. Cook does the job. Final time in the turn three and four. Picking up the victory is the 33 of Stuart Friesen. Coming home in second, the 19th of Paul Kinney, third to Jeff Cook, fourth to Dylan Zwernick, fifth, Jason Barney, and make that Chuck Healy, six coming. Stu, congratulations. I'll tell you what, you turned out to be quite the sprint car driver here as of late. I'll take it, man. Uh, I almost wasn't quite the sprint car driver. That first lap there, I got it all crossed up into turn one, and uh, I'm thankful whoever was behind me didn't, uh, didn't plow right into me, let me gather it up. And um, from there on, we just, you know, started adjusting the wing and trying to get the car so it was up underneath of us, and about halfway through it, it really came to life. Trombley makes a run down the inside. Palmer's outside. Trombley goes by and grabs a number three spot. David Lake gets the win. Dave, you're trying to get to win 100. <laughs> you got one more feature to do it. First of all, congratulations on win number 99. The car's hooked up tonight. Uh, the car was pretty good, but I'll tell you, Jack had me covered. He was running really good. He just had some bad luck. Well, you got to be lucky and good. Apparently, you're both... Back to I-88 Speedway for the Race of Champions Sportsman. Here's Liam Andrews with the call. Way up on the outside, it's Anthony Perea. Going in the eighth spot. Going in the ninth spot, it's Tyler Dippel down on the inside of Harold Humphrey. Both teams are in the eighth spot. Going in the ninth spot, it's Tyler Dippel down on the inside of Harold Humphrey. Both three battle a two to turn, three wide out of turn number four. Mike Butler, your early race leader. Three wide. And we got three around here in the back, the yellow coming out. They're cranking up on the outside, they come out of turn four, three wide, about four rows deep there. Way up on the outside is Kenny Hammond, out of turn four this time. We got a new leader, Tyler Dippo, out front. Tyler Dippo clearing the lap car down on the inside with that number one machine. Claude Hutchings Jr. right there. 
He's down on the inside of Butler. They race side by side. Claude Hutching Jr. going to try to trap Kenny Titus behind that lap car. But now down the back stretch, he sets back out front. Claude Hutching Jr. right there, second. Rodney Hart down on the inside now with the 22R machine. 40 lap feature going to go to the wall of Tyler Dippo. Charlie Claude Hutching Jr. second, third is Rodney Hart, Kenny Titus, Mike Butler, Brian White, Rusty Smith, Luke Lenny Merritt, the youngster, behind the wheel of the number one, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the ROC Sportsman event, Tyler Dippo! Well, congratulations, Tyler. You know, you, you got a bright future, Eddie. I know you've been fooling around with some late model racing. What's next on the agenda? Um, I think we're going to run Modifieds next year and try and run some asphalt stuff down south. Reacquainting our Dave Lape theme, recently a special tribute was held out at the Utica Rome Speedway. Here's Doug Zupan with more. Doug Zupan. Zuby, here you go. Thanks, Mike. Thank you, everybody, for coming out here. Uh, tonight is uh, a celebration, a celebration for 50 years of racing. That's an incredible accomplishment. David Lape, uh, thank you for coming out and bringing your whole caravan out here. Here at Utica Rome, David had eight career wins. Two of those wins came in the 1970s on the quarter-mile asphalt track against Richie Evans, Jerry Cook, Bill Wimble. That's amazing. Here on the dirt, he had six wins and two track titles, those coming in 1981 and 1985. He had one Super Dirt Series win here. In total, he had 191 career wins, 99 of which came at his home, Fonda Speedway. Seven track titles at Fonda Speedway, probably his most proudest accomplishment. Also, David had track championships at Malta, Weedsport, he had big wins at Eastern States, the 200, rolling wheels. He was Mr. Dirt in 1977, driving the very first Tobias chassis, 44B. David was a member of the Dirt Appellate Board for many seasons. He is also a Niska Hall of Famer and a Dirt Hall of Famer. He's also been a promoter for years with Lapco Promotions with Andy Fusco. Also, a chassis builder with Champ Car for many, many seasons. The last car of which is sitting right behind here, behind the grandstands. Tonight, David, is a big celebration of your career. This whole season has been. And we're proud to have you here tonight at Utica Rome to be a part of it all. Thank you. Utica Rome will be the place for the 360 Sprints this coming weekend when the Cole Cup will offer up $7,000 to the winner. Let's take a trip down to the Accord Speedway for Friday night's modified feature. Let's send it to Joel Mearns for the highlights. Here they come at a two number four. He'd be up to the number one spot. Tommy Meyer trying to work his way through the pack right now as he's right behind Mighty Mike Ricky down the back straight away. Mike Ricky down to the inside right now. Ricky looks for the number two position down there. Right now, here comes Jackie Brown Jr. threading the needle up at turn number four. McKinney's starting to come alive in the County Waste 27 car. 3 1 down the back straightaway. Watch McKinney down to the inside. Rigo showing some life down to the inside right now. Higby gets around, Mark, into some heavy lap traffic, and that may open things up for Meyer. Brown now moves in. Tommy Meyer sits second, checker flag will fly. Ladies and gentlemen, going to victory lane here tonight. Jerry Higby. Second spot will be Tommy Meyer. Third spot, Jackie Brown. Fourth is Boniface, and Anthony Perigo will round out the top five. The Niska weekly winners from Accord Speedway are Greg Cohn, Tyler Boniface, Ray Tarantino, Ron Ryan, Jerry Higby, and Tommy Johnson. Jack Johnson on the inside will beat him to turn one, but Dave Lake's going to pedal off at the top of turn number two. He'll 
stick the nose out front, but here comes Jumpin' Jack back down to the inside. Side by side, through turn three and four. Late on the outside, Johnson on the inside. Johnson with the advantage down here across the stripe to turn number one. It'll be Lape taking the advantage off turn number two. Up through turn three and four. When Dave Lape steps off turn four, checkers will be in the air. The winner of the run with your bong. Show here at Devil's Bowl is Dave Lape. Thanks to Thomas Video, we'll share some action from the Brewerton Speedway from this past Friday night's event. Let's send it to Adam Buchanan and Bill Foley for the highlights. Another road trip this week takes us down to the Catskills and the Bethel Motor Speedway. Here's the sportsman feature from Bethel this past Saturday night. Cupcake, Kimberly Morgan and Kyle Redner off a of corner number four. Green, 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 and away we go. Morgan stays right down on the bottom side. Oh, we got him crunching and banging down the back stretch. It's Kyle Redner out front hanging on to the top spot. Kimberly Morris, the cupcake, holding on to spot number two with Morris third. Morgan fourth for the moment. Here comes Jerry Curry. Curry works up to the outside. Is he going to go to the outside? Redner stays down low, hugging the inside like a rabbit at the dog tracks. And Richie Cohn just puts it up in no man's land. Two more left hand turns. Checkered flag and a fly winner of the Sportsman Future Event, Rich Coon. Bob Morris is second. Here with legendary modified driver Dave Lape. Dave, first of all, how does it feel to be honored in such a way here tonight at Albany Saratoga Speedway? Well, it's a great, you know, acknowledgement for me. Uh, I want to thank Lyle and Howie for inviting me, and uh, it's been fun. Now looking back to your career, you've won an unprecedented 25 times here with the last one coming in 03 when you beat Brett Hearn in a, what was a big race here at the track. You, you know, coming all the way back from the asphalt days to now, you've got to be happy the way your career has panned out here. Yeah, I, I am. It's been a long time. It's 50 years, you know, and uh, we've had ups and downs, but we've had really good years, and, you know, those are the ones you try to remember. Now, what is the thing bringing back to you is the biggest part of coming back here to Albany, Saratoga tonight? Well, I always loved coming to Albany, Saratoga. In fact, we were supposed to race here this week, you know, and I was looking forward to that. But since we had the accident, I can't. But, you know, it's good to be back here at Malta. I always love coming here. Now, this has got to be especially fitting for you as you're coming to the end of a big career that you've had in the Modifieds. Yeah, it's been a long time, and, uh, you know, I've seen drivers come and go, young kids, you know, and Bill Wimble and Pete Corey, the kids, the guys I used to look up to, and so I've seen pretty much everything the last 50 years. Now, who would you like to thank that's helped you out through your entire career? Well, there's so many. I mean, uh, Roosevelt's been my sponsor for the whole 50 years. Uh, Fred Burrells, 
Uh, Car Care Special, Bob and Carol Grimm, a 44B, Don Naffel, uh, Pat Riley's been with me the last 10 years, so I'm sure there's a lot more too. All right, Dave, well, thank you for being here tonight, and we're glad to honor you here at the Speedway. For Inside Northeast Racing, I'm Mike Warren. It's time for the Rooftop Here's Joel Burns. <laughs> and company up on top doing the famous roof dance. So what has been tradition at the Bonda Speedway and his daughter Jessica will go to the roof. She can get away with jumping on the roof like that, they can't. More ESS sprint car action, this time from the Utica Rome Speedway. Here's Matt Tanner getting the push off and Mike Mallett with the call of the race. because, uh, man, that race was long. Holy cow. When you're just waiting for the 33 to roll past you in the middle, and you just keep digging and digging. And I had a great race car right from the start. And The Sprint Cars take center stage at Utica Rome Speedway this weekend for the Cole Cup. Now it's time to go back to Utica Rome, modifieds with sail panels this past Sunday, and back to Mike Mallett for the call. Race fans, as I ask you, each and every Sunday night here at the Utica Rome Speedway, who is it going to be? 
turn down the back stretch we go here on lap number one. The 78A of Brad Alger leads him into corner number three. He is right there into turn number four as they power their way off the west end. First time around, your leader. So working it down off the turn here with four laps complete. It is Alger out in front, but look at this battle for the lead. It's a four-car race at the front of the field here in this main event. Coming off of turn number four to the strut. It's all Mike Mahaney, your new leader. In that one corner, now Friesen looks to do the same. Friesen looks to the inside. Three wide off of turn two. The three wide off that turn down the back stretch. Gets the run going into turn number one. Ward looking for the lead off of turn two. And here comes Larry White down to the outside. White's up to third. White around the outside. Side by side up in turn number four. And White's going to have the number one spot. So Larry White takes the lead from Pat Ward, at least for the moment. Ward, though, coming back at him down low. Ward finds the moisture on the bottom. They stay side by side down the back stretch. Off the corner, coming down to victory lane, or coming down to take the wind and end up in victory lane will be the 99L of Larry White. Second goes to Pat Ward, third to the 80s, fourth. And good enough for the championship will be Stuart Friesen. Fifth goes to Todd Burley, sixth to Davis. So again, here he is out of the car, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a round of applause, your modified feature winner, Larry Wild. Yeah, we had a really good car all night long. Uh, seeing me on that restart, I found that middle, and it felt like the track almost laid rubber. Uh, the car was just so hooked up, I could pick up the throttle and enter so much harder than everybody else, and uh, we were able to finally get a win here. Seems to be wherever this car goes, you put it in victory lane since you made the change. What is it that's making this car so good? Uh, it's hard to say really, uh, just uh, the consistency of the car is unbelievable. I mean, we're a top five car every night, no matter where we are. Give me a hand, race fans, your 2013 modified track champion, driving the number one, for Freezer. The weekly winners from Utica Rome Speedway this past Sunday, presented by the New York State Stock Car Association, are Jack Miller, Jason Barney, Larry White, Glenn Forward, and Russ Marsden. Here's another treat, courtesy of Thomas Video. Let's take a trip out to the Fulton Speedway for this past Saturday's modified feature. It's Fire down into turns one and two for the final time of the regular season. Caitlin Kane with the advantage there off at turn two. The Iceman, Dan Fowler with a rocket down the bag. Strush moves into the one off spot. And the rocket's gotten by Pat Ward as they race for position at mid pack. Pat Ward looking for his first career track championship here at the Fulton Speedway. Comes the natural Dale Plank also in a battle there off of turn four. And Barger side by side with Caitlin Kane down the first trailer. And Barger leads it off of turn number two. Great run there by Bowder on the bottom line of the racetrack. Takes the lead, looking to lead lap number eight at the five. He's looking for the fourth spot. Looking high on Chad Phelps there off the turn two down the back stretch. Chad Phelps and Ryan had some battles in the past. Man, now he was a plus Bresnahan as he tries to move up into the top three. And he does there at the straight. The Iceman has returned to victory lane as Dan Fowler picks up the win. Let's take a look at some of the action from down at the Orange County Fair Speedway from this past Saturday night's main events. Here are the Orange County Fair Speedway weekly winners presented by Niska. It was Thomas Strupp, Joey Matrando, Mario Page, 
Chris Whitehead, and Anthony Perego. Well, AJ's belts are tight. He is back on the racetrack, and we are going back to green. David Leap is going to step off the top side of the racetrack off turn two. Chuck and Jack Johnson come out at him on the inside, but it'll be big block. Power down the back stretch. That'll lead him to turn number three. Late off turn four on the cushion. You've got a new leader, the Andy Speed Shop. Number 22 of Dave Lake. Off turn four, checkered flag is in the air. Dave Lake will win the big block, small block challenge. Back to the Bethel Motor Speedway for their modified feature this past Saturday night. Here's Rick Ryder with the call of the race. Caution gets turned off. We get set. Green flag flies and the Wingdale Warrior Steve Galgano. Quickly gains the advantage down the backstretch. Colhane going to try and fight back to his inside. Galgano and Colhane, they mixed it up. This looks like a carbon copy of last week with Colhane and uh, Van Orden. Wow, Colhane got really squirrely that time. And around goes the Rocky. And it is the Wingdale Warrior, Steve Galgano, jumping back out to that number one spot. Works to the outside of Lachesi. Little contact between the lap car, Lachesi and Cody. Cody says, uh-uh, ain't having it no way. See you later, bye-bye. I'm gone. Former street stock, pro stock point champion at the Orange County Fair Speedway. Now playing on the asphalt. Superman, wow, John Cody working that outside lane. Down through three and four. Coming around to pick up career victory number 101. John Cody victorious. Second spot comes down to the line, but it will be Steve Galgano, Gary Van Orden Jr., third to motto. Set up to Glen Ridge Motorsports Park for the final night of points for the Modifieds. Here's Cowboy Paul Small with the call of the race. Off and running the pack charges off turn number two for the first time at full speed. Sitterly has the advantage with the number 88. Side by side battle going off for second, third, and fourth as Barron will sneak down to the inside here on lap number one looking for the number two spot from Big Rock Bob Better Car into the wall. Bowler with the number 50. Sparks fly as he scrapes the concrete and gets it back under motion as they'll come off four here at the end of lap number two. Your race leader is Sitterly. Second spot is Barron. Reckner is third. Get into the number four position. Sitterly now has company. Here comes your track champion, Bobby Barron. Barron looking for the low side in turn number two as the battle for the lead now begins. They'll charge into three. Sitterly's car bobbles, unsettles a little bit, and as they come off four, Barron will take the lead with seven laps complete. Car in trouble. Castelletti with a we'll wave now off turn number four for Barron. So final trip around for the Barron number 85 car. Checkers wave off turn number four. Barron gets the win and the championship. Here comes the battle for the rest of the positions in the top five. Second spot will go to the 17 of Reckner. Hanson will finish third with Becker not far behind in fourth. Fifth goes to Sitterly. Rockefeller will finish in the sixth spot. Let's welcome your 2013 modified track champion and tonight's feature winner, ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Varen. Your weekly winners at Glen Ridge Motorsports Park, presented by the New York State Stock Car Association are Jason Samrov, Art Clement, Blake Schwarting, Bobby Varon, and Brian Pesolano. 
Staying with the final night of points theme and actually the final night of the season for the Modifieds at Albany, Saratoga. Here's the main event from this past Friday night. Yours truly with the call. We're going green off turn number four. Green is out and we are underway. Jeremy Wilder will lead him down into turn number one. Wilder will show the way down here between turns one and two. Keep an eye on Matt DiLorenzo. DiLorenzo three wide right down the middle down to turn three and now Mark Johnson will do the same. Couple of three cars on the charge as they make their way down here to turn number one. Johnson on the inside, DiLorenzo on the outside. That's the battle for four spot. They go down into turn number three. Here comes Johnson. Johnson looking low on DiLorenzo. DiLorenzo on the outside trying to make his way around Maury. They go to turn number one and now a car on the move is your high point man, Brett Hearn on the charge. Wilder, your leader, Johnson rides second, a distant third is Brent Hearn. Hearn back there, third, fourth spot, Don Rocket. Fifth spot is Ronnie Johnson, and another Johnson right now about to make his name said as the leader down the turn number one. Mark Johnson swings to the outside of Jeremy Wilder. It's Wilder on the inside, Johnson on the outside. And as they make their way into turn number three, it's going to be car number three taking the number one spot. You've got a new leader, and Mark Johnson's his name. Mark, they work their way down through turn one and two as they work down off the corner of turn number two. Hearn cannot close on Johnson. As they work off turn number four, your final modified main event winner 2013 is Mark Johnson. Johnson gets the victory in the 3J. Coming home second is Brett Hearn in the 20 to 115. And Kenny Trumar will finish third. Four spot goes to Jeremy Wilder in the 22J. And rounding out your top five is the 76 of Ronnie Johnson. So Johnson's on each end of the top five. Mark Year making his way out of the automobile now. Put your hands together for Mark Johnson. The NISCA Weekly winners from Albany Saratoga Speedway were John Heidenreich, Josh Coonrad, Adam Pearson, Mark Johnson, Colin Bocas, Jack Swinton, Rob Yetman, and Todd Goldstein. You've been watching Inside Northeast Racing, sponsored by the New York State Stock Car Association, Gene Cole's Utica Rome Speedway, RCT Roofing, Bobco Video, Northeast Racing Videos, The Rooftop Shuffler, Joel Mearns, Jack Hughes Race Car Parts and more, and our friends from Dirt Track Digest. Well, we hope you enjoyed edition number 22 of Inside Northeast Racing with our own little tribute to a great career of Dave Lakes and a trip around the Northeast with a little something for everyone. For the whole gang of announcers that appeared on this week's show, this is Dan Martin saying thanks for watching and see you next time. Racing is a Northeast Racing Videos production. <laughs>